Hello there. NDI, or Network Device Interface, is a great way to stream video over your local network. This feature is also great for bringing video into your Granary Tree setup without the need for big video files. It's especially useful when you want to integrate cameras or other media sources into your workflow. Let's make that happen. First, you need to make sure your NDI stream is active on the network. If you don't see any NDI sources available, make sure that the third-party software agreement is activated and that the NDI stream is properly configured. The EULA agreement you can find under Settings, Software Update and the EULA tab. Make sure the third-party box is checked, or you won't see the NDI stream. We can recommend using NDI tools to set up your NDI streams for devices. Make sure all the sending devices and all MA3 stations are part of the same network. Start by editing an empty video pool object. This opens up the Edit Video pop-up. Click on Source, then select NDI in the Select Source pop-up window. After that, click on Select Source, and a new pop-up will show you all the available NDI sources. If nothing shows up, it means either there are no NDI sources on the network, or third-party NDI software hasn't been activated yet. Two streams show up in my feed. There is a video feed and a PTZ camera feed. Let's select my MacBook screen to simulate a video server to start with. Once you've chosen your NDI source, the next step is to adjust the bandwidth setting. There are two bandwidth options, one for high quality and the other for more efficient use of your network resources. If you're working in a high bandwidth environment, you can go for the higher quality setting, but be mindful of your network capacity. Each of our Ethercon ports will support up to one gigabit of traffic. Once you've selected your preferred bandwidth, Step close to exit the editor. Let's create another video source for the camera feed. An NDI feed can be used for appearances. This is similar to adding images to an appearance. Instead of using the image source, you'll select videos in the title bar of the select image pop-up. This will let you use your NDI source as a video input in your appearance. Let's create two appearances, one for each of the feeds. We can assign an appearance directly to a new layout. This layout will now show our NDI stream. Another NDI source we can use is our camera. NDI allows us to integrate multiple feeds into our show file. We could use the layout viewer to preview the two feeds in one layout view. Let's create two rectangular objects, use the edit function and assign the two appearances to the respective objects. Select full resolution if needed. You'll now see the two NDI feeds and the objects in the layout view. This could be helpful for previewing and selecting the right camera view for your show, or while programming to see our stage, especially if we don't have the best line of sight to the stage. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're using processing units in your session, the NDI feed needs to be routed to those as well. All stations need to be connected to the feed for this function to work properly. Once you've got everything set up, you can of course store your NDI layout views for quick access later. This makes it easy to pull up your video feeds whenever you need them. We can also use our NDI stream as a video source for a bitmap and apply it to objects in our show. Edit an empty bitmap object, navigate to content and select video as an image source. Now we can choose which NDI stream we want the bitmap to use. Let's choose the content feed. Now we select our LED wall and apply our bitmap to it. We can now see our content feed on the LED screen. Of course, we could apply this to other fixtures as well to create some really funky effects that are in sync with the colors and dynamics of our video feed. Let's apply this bitmap to a perspective grid view of our full grid. Awesomeness. You could also assign your NDI video feed to your lock screen as an appearance. This feature is useful if you want to keep a video stream visible while your console is locked, or just for fun. Go to the user configuration settings and assign the video to your lock screen. Now use the pause button to lock your screen. Et voila! As you can see, there are many ways to use NDI in ME3. It's an incredible creative tool that lets you integrate live video, camera feeds and other media directly into your show. We hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and happy programming.